What up, homies? How you doing? Good to be back. Well, is it? I've just been going through loads of things on the Nickelodeon stuff. I was going to make a video on that, but I, I'm, I'm sort of a bit flabbergasted to be honest. I think it's far too serious to be making YouTube. But, you know, if you want to see it, let me know. But I, it's just disgusting. I, I can't you know everything from Epstein to Nickelodeon. It's just too much to handle. So I thought we'd have a look at something else. Um, irresponsible parents, much more of a hilarious matter. Thankfully, the children are okay, so we can laugh at this nothing serious happened but two drunken floridians so this is actually what they're going to be in gta 6 i can't wait to see them you know the stranger and freak mission where you find a kid halfway up a tree and the parents are pissed on the beach that's going to be sick but two parents get blackout drunk sit on a beach and pass out and their kids fucking end up in i don't know miami uh, what, what's in florida i don't know hey. A day on Daytona Beach ended with this couple in handcuffs. So they're off their tits. They are pissed as a fiddle. Absolutely sloshy, doshy, washy. Usually when people get sloshed, they usually leave their kids, you know, with mummy and their mummy, you know, with grandma, grandpa, or maybe a friend's house. Leave them around at the neighbours. Oh, dump them off. Fuck. It's, I'm getting pissed. Leave. I don't care. Just take, get rid of them. Put them in the, don't care. Just lock them in. Fuck it. Who cares? Just get rid of them. These guys didn't have that idea. The is going to find us out. I went and read the report, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Volusia Sheriff's deputies say the couple from Georgia were so drunk, they passed out on the beach Saturday afternoon. Tell me where your kids are. The deputies asked them where their kids were, but they didn't seem to have a clue. And <laughs> Show me where your kids are. I was like, no, they're here, I swear. Oh, hold on. I can't, I'm so pissed I can't actually see right in front of me. You know what I mean? His eyes are inwards and left. He can't even look straight, bro. He is <laughs> off his donkey. Absolutely. He's not able to speak. He doesn't know what planet he's on. He doesn't know where his kids are going to be. At one point, the dad calls out for them. You know where they are? Sheriff Mike Titwood could not believe it. It just boggles my mind that you would drive. <laughs> it just boggles my mind. Boggles it. <laughs> what a great word. And get obliterated and, you know, allow a five and a seven year old to wander off. Deputies ended up finding the two kids swimming in a pool at the hotel nearby, unsupervised, but safe. Why am I being arrested? Deputies arrested both mom and dad, 27 year olds, at least. Fuck. Jesus, look at that. That's horrifying. That is going to be in Grand Theft Auto 6. What's up with this guy on the right's face as well? Has he been beaten? Did the police officers, you know, leave an elbow in or something, you know? Bye bye, left, right. Go. You want to. He's like, I'll take vengeance. You want to forget? Your fucking kids. But where's her eyebrows? You know what I mean? She's got less than fucking me. Like, what's the, what's going on there, mate? You know, she looks about 12, though. She's not 20 anything. Like, fuck, mate. He actually looks remarkably similar on the right to someone I know very well. <laughs> really does, actually. That's quite terrifying. Luckily, he lives not in Florida. Tia Langley and her fiancé, Timothy Stevens. And if you're wondering why his face is bruised... <laughs> That's because he tried escaping from deputies before face planting on the ground and knocking himself out. Call an ambulance, please. When we wonder. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me, lads. What in the goodness livid hell was that? That's not what you call running away. Did you see him? He was like. <laughs> flat got absolutely mashed on in all seriousness the daily mail is reporting that the kids were safe and everyone was happy uh, except obviously the adults so thank god the kids were safe but what in god's name are they doing getting pissed here as well like you could get run over you know what i mean like you're so close to the road you might lose a brain they're so pissed they've blacked out what they've been drinking and it's like oh where how did they find mum oh, i suppose the kids pointed at them didn't they you know five and a seven year old and you're getting blacked out fudged on the beach you know what i mean like it's despicable it's terrible. It just makes you grateful that you had, you know, I obviously don't know your situation, but my parents were quite lovely when I look at the world and, you know, I ventured out as I get slightly older and you, you see people and you learn what people are like and you go, thank God I didn't grow up in your dad's ball sack because that would have been very terrible. And I guess I know you technically you grow up in your mum's stomach, but it sounded better in my head. Okay, we're going to move on. These sort of people, um, it makes you, I actually believe this, you should be forced to have, you know, some sort of test to prove that you can have a child. I think that's the best thing. I know it's 
very sort of Nazi. Yes, I can you handle the child? Show me your test results. How often do you leave them pissed when you are out at the beach? Like, no, it's not like that. It's nothing like that. I just more mean like as a joke. Some people just should not have children. I can't tell you how many people I know my age. Th this was when I was 18 as well. So people, I know about three people who had kids with boys who were no longer in the picture. You know what I mean? They fucked off to fucking Thailand or something to show a boy and left them on their own. This poor kid doesn't have a father now. Look, he's trying to have a vape. <laughs> He tried having a vape. He's like, oh, I need a vape, bro. I'm not allowed a vape, bro. That's tight, isn't it? That's tight. Bro can't have a vape. No. How come he's in handcuffs and she's not as well? Sexism. They should both be in handcuffs. Sexism. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon, ladies and gents. But yeah, anyway, I, I just wanted to commentate on this. I think the world has gone to pot. Um, this Nickelodeon stuff is truly quite... It makes me extremely sad. Um, you know, I saw a thing. It's like we were all watching Nickelodeon thinking, God, I'm jealous. Imagine if you could be on a kid's TV show, this, that and the other, and you get to a, you know, a slightly older adult who can think and go well thank jesus christ i didn't end up on one of them shows and you can't help but think the same thing i mean yeah it's a horrible world out there and i'm just glad i managed to get old enough to you know make my own decisions but yeah at least i'm not making decisions like these two donkeys i mean we've all done dumb shit in our lives let's not be let's not pretend we're above getting pissed at the beach and falling asleep but getting pissed at the beach falling asleep and then leaving your kids to run off and find a swimming pool and then getting arrested that's just that's just clear art hardiness i mean oof, good lord have mercy anyway leave like comment subscribe